don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win any of these $50 gift cards. Details in the description below. It's reading these sort of articles that make you realize that there are still some cool people out there. And I'm sure the engineer who made this all happen didn't take into consideration that he was going to get fame or glory out of it. So what am I talking about? Well, fellow gamer Peter Byrne contacted Sony to complain about the PlayStation DualShock 4 controller touchpad. I'm sure Sony gets a lot of these on a daily basis, or even on just other hardware. However, Peter's complaint is different. See, he has cerebral palsy, which is a neurological disorder that restricts and alters his movement. As a gamer, and I'm sure most of you watching this will understand, some games require precise movement of the controller to execute a combo in a fighting game or to position your line of fire perfectly in an FPS game. You can see his dilemma, and at the time, there wasn't really any real solution for gamers like him. Luckily, however, the email was read by Alex Nawabi, who is a game engineer at Sony, who took it upon himself not on behalf of Sony to create a custom controller just for him. Nawabi knew that one of the biggest issues for Peter was the touchpad always being activated accidentally during gameplay but he couldn't just simply disconnect the touchpad since its feature is required by certain games. After 10 hours of working on his custom controller and trying to find a solution, Nawawi put in a second button that took over the touchpad functions in an area that's not easily accessible. He also had to disable the actual touchpad itself, so even if he did make contact with the touchpad, it would not trigger it or any of its functions. As if that wasn't cool enough, he made Peter a second custom controller just in case something happened to the first one. All I have to say to this is someone get Alex a medal, a fat bonus, or some sort of recognition for this because this is just about the coolest thing that's happened in gaming news as of late. He did not have to spend the 10 hours of work crafting a custom controller, but he did. Hopefully, stories like these will inspire manufacturers to create custom gaming peripherals for those gamers that are having issues playing games due to their illnesses. Anyway, at the end of the day, we're all gamers and deserve to enjoy gaming as much as we can. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, this has been GTR Bytes.